Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating this Dyson DC14 vacuum cleaner made by Kasdan. As you can see from the size of the box, it's not a full-size Dyson cleaner. It's a Dyson designed for those young fans who happen to like vacuuming but are a little bit too small to use their parents' full-sized cleaner. So this is a scale model, a working scale model of a Dyson DC14 upright vacuum cleaner. Has an onboard hose with actual suction action. It even has a simulated cyclone action as well in the bin. We'll see all that working in the course of the video. I think that's all I need to show you for now. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. And I'm assuming we need to fit some batteries. So the first thing out of the box in this little packet are the three small cleaning tools. Very similar to the ones you get with the full-size Dyson DC14. Let's try and rip that open. Oof, dearly me. Let's have a look. So here's your small cleaning nozzle for doing your stairs and upholstery, etc. Here's the crevice nozzle for your nooks and crannies. And here, well, it's a pretend dusting brush because there are no brushes on here, it's just black plastic to simulate the actual real dusting brush. So there are the three cleaning tools. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks like it needs some assembly. If I can get it out of the box. Well, it seems to be uh, attached very firmly in the box, as a lot of children's toys are. Perhaps the manufacturers don't want you to play with it. There we go. I'm going to have to pull out the inner. That's it. The inner cardboard. And as you can see, oh, it's tied up in case it should escape out of the box. There we go. Let's pop that to one side. Oh, we've got the operating instructions here. You do need to assemble it as you would the real Dyson cleaner. They always require some assembly. So here it is in the box. Okay, I'm just going to undo all these ties that are keeping this machine in the box and then we'll assemble the cleaner. Right, here's all the bits out of the box and although it was just a brief second on the video, it took me several minutes to unfasten all the high security tags that were attached to this toy vacuum cleaner but eventually I freed it from the box. Now there is some assembly required. Here's the main unit and here's the cleaning head. So the first thing we need to do is attach the main unit to the cleaning head. So let's move all these other bits out of the way. And we've got to fit this to here. So it doesn't really say how to do it in the instructions. So I'm just going to... Oh dear. See what I can do to fit I don't want to force anything. Let me just double check the instructions because I don't want to be breaking this before we've even got a chance to demonstrate it. All it says is clip vacuum head onto cleaner body as shown. Well it just shows two arrows going like that and this goes in the direction of that but uh, it's getting these two parts either side. You can see those two parts that stick out. There's obviously what's got to go into the holes either side. So I think it's going to be a matter of how on earth do you do it? Oh that's it, you just have to oops, there we go. You just have to pull it outwards and hopefully you won't break it. So there we go, that's the cleaning head attached to the body. It does seem to stand up on its own. So now we need to attach the hose and the wand. 
So this end of the hose that has a right angle in it, you need to click into the hole at the bottom. So that's just a push and then that's clicked into place and that actually goes into the dust box because apart from having a simulated cyclone action with these coloured beads, it will actually suck up dirt through the hose into this little dust box. So we'll be demonstrating that later. So the dirt doesn't actually go into the bin like a real Dyson, it goes into this little box at the back. So that is the hose attached. Now we need to attach the handle onto the end of the hose. So here's the handle we need to attach. And I must say these Kasdan toys or working models are very detailed, very accurate in their design. That could almost be a real Dyson DC-14 handle, but in miniature. Now there's only one way we can put the hose in, and let's double check. So it's not that way. The top of the handle, that's where you attach the three cleaning tools. So we actually put the end of the hose into this end, and it's a push and twist. So locate the two lugs and twist it until it locks in position, there we go. And that's the hose attached to the cleaner. So to attach the handle to the machine, we just need to slightly stretch it and position it in the top of the cleaner like this. Push it down until it clicks into place. To release the hose, when you want to use the cleaning tools, there's a little switch here. You need to press that in and then you can pull out the hose and then you can use the suction from the little built-in motor to pick up small debris. Before I demonstrate the Dyson DC-14 I need to insert some batteries. and They're located in this box on the underside of the toy. So you just need a small posi-dried screwdriver to undo the battery cover and then you insert four C-sized batteries into the compartment. Observe the polarity, otherwise it won't work. One up, one down, one up, one down. Like that. And then pop the cover back on and tighten the screw. Make sure the cover's on securely, otherwise the batteries can fall out. There we go. So we've got the batteries fitted, all that remains is to attach the three cleaning tools. So this is the first one I've clipped into place, the dusting tool lives on top of the cyclone. It's quite a tight fit, but it got there in the end. And then the second tool that fits on top is the all-purpose or stair nozzle and that just clips into place there. And finally the crevice tool fits on that little holder there. Just on the side of this toy Dyson is a two position switch because unlike the real Dyson DC-14, this toy version has two motors. One provides the suction through the hose and the other powers a fan that gives you the swirling action of these multicolored beads in the bin. So on position one, we have the swirling action to simulate the cyclone in a real Dyson. And if you move it down to position two, you get the suction through the hose. In order to test the suction of this toy Dyson, I've emptied the contents of a hole punch onto the table here. And I'm going to pass the nozzle through the middle of this and we'll see how much it can remove. Well, not a bad effort, but perhaps we should try a different nozzle instead of the stair tool. So we'll take that off, and this time we'll put the crevice nozzle on. That will concentrate the suction power. So, in theory, it should pick up a little bit quicker. Not bad, not bad at all. I've left the final bits of paper 
we might as well test each nozzle. So, whoops. Yes, here's one I did earlier. A little bit of a demo I tried myself. Right, here's the dusting tool. So we'll see if we can remove the rest of these bits of paper with the dusting tool attached. So, not bad at all. Aha, uh -huh. eagle-eyed viewers. You've missed a bit. Okay, I've seen it. There we go. A clean sweep for the Dyson DC-14. Where's all those little bits of paper? I hear you cry. Well, they're inside here at the back. We need to access the dirt container by moving these little levers. And then we can pull out this clear box. And inside here, we can take the hose off. Inside here are all the bits of paper that I picked up. And at the back, there's a little flap that lifts up here. And then we can tip all the paper out again. And have fun picking it up all over again. The last test I'm going to perform with this toy Dyson is to pick up all these polystyrene balls. Now back in the day, toy vacuum cleaners normally used to come with a little packet of these balls so the child could spread them about on the carpet or the floor, suck them up and then empty them out and do the whole thing over and over again. I know that's what I did when I was a child, lucky enough to be given several toy vacuum cleaners for Christmas and birthdays. Yes, I was a bit strange. But because, obviously, you can still buy toy vacuum cleaners, quite a lot of different ones, it's something that fascinates children even now. And I certainly was fascinated by the magical way that all the polystyrene balls disappeared up the tube. So, to relive that magic one more time, let's pick all these balls up using the toy Dyson DC-14. So again, let's have a look at all the polystyrene balls that have been collected in the dust container. Let's take the hose off. So there we go, all safely inside until the next time when I release the flap and tip them out all over again. And why not, let's pick these up one last time. Well, we've had tons of fun, haven't we? Picking up the bits of paper and those polystyrene balls. But the fun doesn't stop here with this toy Dyson DC-14 because we have the double fun of seeing these little coloured plastic pellets swirling around in a cyclone action, just like the real Dyson. Now, you can't use both these features at once. You can either have the hose suction or you can have the cyclone action. You can't use them both at the same time because it's two motors. So there's a little motor located on the top of the bin here that provides the airflow to make these little pellets whiz round and the separate motor is underneath that provides suction through the hose. So on position one, we get the cyclone action.
Just like the real Dyson DC14, there's a little switch here to control the brush that switches it on and off. So you can move it front and back like that. But of course, on this toy, it doesn't do anything. It's just for show. This is the underside of the toy Dyson DC14. And unlike the real machine, we don't have a brush roll here. Instead, we have two wheels at the front and at the back, two larger wheels. Well, that's the end of my review and demonstration of the toy Dyson DC14 by Kasdan. If you like this video and you like real vacuum cleaners, please subscribe to my channel where you'll see many, many reviews on various floor care products, including the odd toy. So, if you'll excuse me, I've got some cleaning to do.